Quaranges. Listen while you're home. Welcome to the 11th episode of Quarren Jazz, your weekly update on what chess musicians from all over the world are doing during social distancing time. I'm Geisa Fernandes, singer-songwriter and music researcher from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This podcast has been created as a place for collaborations, new interactions, or simply for jazz musicians to vent a bit. Despite the far from perfect conditions that most of us have to face during social distancing, there are people out there doing what they always do, entertaining their fans with great music. So if you are a jazz musician and you would like to share your stories with us, drop me a line. In the description of this episode, you will find a link to my website, jaysafernandes.com, And also a link to my mailing list, in case you want to save some clicks. Just go right to the point. <laughs> well, if you are a more social network person, you can also find me on Facebook. Join the group The Touring Jazz Musician, named after a guide I wrote on jazz festivals that accept submissions directly from musicians. So if you got curious, if you'd like to know more about the jazz festival scene, Join the discussion. Find us on Facebook, The Touring Jazz Musician. And talking about touring jazz musicians, this week's guest is a touring jazz musician. From Scotland, jazz guitarist David McGregor. Hi, David. Great having you here. Thank you very much. So, let's start with the usual stuff. Can you please introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about your work, your influences. Hi there, Jaysa. Thank you so much for having me on your Quarren Jazz uh, podcast. It's really cool to do this. Um, so, okay, let's, let's kick things off. My name is David McGregor. I'm a touring world jazz guitarist and composer. I'm originally from Scotland. And, um, well, my music is really, I guess, is, is, is music that's inspired from traveling uh, mainly, uh, traveling all over the world and from the different sounds and the different experiences that I've had along the way. Um, so it's, it's a mixture of as much music as I, as I can soak up, I would say, is, is the easiest way to describe it. So it could be uh, folk music from, say, Japan or from Mexico. It could be, you know, European classical music, um, Bossa Nova or from Brazil, something like that. Um, all sorts of different um, inspirations over the years. Even if I think back to when I first started out, um, I, I was really into like heavy metal music and rock music and things like that, and uh, I still listen to that sometimes, and and find inspiration in that. Um, so kind of all these different styles that I've discovered from around the world all merged together, uh, along with um, some jazz harmony and improvisation. That would be the best way for me to describe my music. All right, and David, so sorry I forgot to mention composer. You're not only a jazz guitarist; you're also a jazz um, songwriter. <laughs> and by the way, are you working on something right now? I've got my guitar with me now since I'm at home. One of the things I do a lot of is play a lot of solo guitar concerts. So I'm kind of trying to split my guitar into, um, into like a band. So for example, you could have the bass player, the bass lines. Something like that. And then you might have the piano or, or one of the, the guys comping, playing some chords. So we could we could put those things together, the bass lines and the and the chords. Something like that. And then maybe we can also add melody. Um, ah, so well, well, I'm playing around with blues. What about uh, Freddie Freeloader? Um, little simple melody there. So 
So I could put that together with some bass lines and some chords, um, and I, I play full concerts in this kind of style. Anyway, <laughs> you get the idea. Fantastic. David, I also mentioned that you are from Scotland, but you are now not in Scotland. You are in the Netherlands, right? And what were your plans? What were you doing when the COVID crisis exploded there? I am speaking to you today from my home here in The Hague in the Netherlands, uh, here in Europe. And, um, well, what projects was I up to? Um, one, well, one of the things I've been working on is um, I have a, a bunch of compositions that I wrote for classical guitar and jazz guitar. The idea of these songs is to kind of combine the two different disciplines. And um, I'm was going to be getting together with um, Ahmed Dickinson Cardenas, who's a Cuban classical guitarist who lives in London. And we are planning to uh, go the to the studio together and record those songs. And um, that's been put, of course, on hold at the moment because of, uh, yeah, because of the crisis. I was also um, booking uh, tour dates um, because I have, basically I have a new album um, coming out on the 15th of May a new solo album, so I was booking solo tour dates in Europe and uh, also I was looking at some stuff um, over in the Americas. Um, so, of course, that is um, all on hold at the moment, um, but the album is still going to come out. Also, you belong to the club of the ones who were caught in the middle of a releasing process. And I'm very sorry, because I, I know how much energy, how much time we invest, you know, planning the dates and everything. And, well, since those plans are now on hold, uh, what are you doing now? So, I'm, you know, my mission has always been to, to share as much music as I can with as many people as possible. And I've always done that by, by touring and traveling. And things are kind of changed at the moment during this quarantine. So what I decided to do is I started building a music studio in my home. Um, and I've been really composing as much music as possible. Uh, on the other side, um, I'm releasing a vinyl album soon. You know, when you think about vinyl, the whole process of putting a vinyl into the vinyl player and just sitting down and, and um, listening to music, and that is the main activity of the, the moment, is to listen to music. A little bit like a concert, I suppose, a little bit like a private concert. So I'm going to be releasing a, a vinyl record um, that's coming out 15th of May um, called Looking for a Place Called Home. Of course, it will also be coming out online, things like that. And um, yeah, just that's it. Building the studio, composing as much music as possible and um, trying to still um, reach everyone with, with my music. That's, that's kind of what I'm up to. I'm trying to not let things bother me too much and uh, just to get on with it, really. Just stay positive, stay happy. Well put, David. I said it already in this podcast in another episode and I will say it again. I think stay positive is right now one of the best kinds of advice one can give right now is um, easier said than done but we all know the importance of trying or at least doing our best <laughs> to keep you know, this, this, this flame, this thing that makes art possible, that makes for instance songwriting possible inspiration um, willing for life, call anything you want. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> But on the upside, congratulations <laughs> on the album and the vinyl things, of course. It's awesome. I'm, I'm a total sucker for vinyl, I think. Vinyl has its own charm and it It remains as a, almost as a fetish <laughs> object. It's really impressive, the, 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 the power of the vinyl community. So you, you are in great company. And David, what can you say about the track we are going to hear? So the song that uh, you guys are going to hear is called The Road to Floyd. 
And I wrote this song while I was on tour in the USA. And I, was, I remember I was driving from Washington, D.C. to Floyd in Virginia. And um, it was about, I don't know, I remember it felt like a very, very long drive. Maybe four or five hours in reality, but it felt like eight or ten or something like that. And um, we were getting a little bit bored on the journey. We were just kind of wanting to get there. But often, I think... If you, you know, you, you make that comparison to life, we make that mistake where we want to get there, but we don't think about the journey on its, on its way. And, and you know, we're just so concerned about reaching our goals and making it that we forget to enjoy the little moments and the, the, the good things along the way. I always see life kind of like stages and you go through a little stage. And then when you move on to the next stage, there's things from the old part of your life that you miss, but you're also glad to be moving forward. So I think we have to just... Take um, advantage of the strange situation that we're in. Spend more time at home. Spend more time with our loved ones. Um, spend more time on creativity and positivity. And it'll, you know, it'll be all right. We're going to be grand. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just worry about today and get on with things and it'll be great. So anyway, this is uh, The Road to Floyd. I hope you guys enjoy the song. Thank you so much. Cheers. Well, thank you, David, very much for your participation, for the great pieces of advice. I loved when you said that you you try to um, not to let things bother you too much. I loved that. I will try to exercise that myself more often. <laughs> Once again, congratulations on your new release. And thank you for being part of Choir and Jazz. As for you, my dear listener, thank you very much for staying with us. I'm Geisa Fernandes. And every week, I bring you updates on what jazz musicians are doing during social distancing time. As you know, I will leave the links to my webpage, jaysafianages.com, and also to my mailing list, so that we can keep this conversation. Maybe you are a jazz musician, and you'd like to share your stories with us here in Quarren Jazz. You're more than welcome. Drop me a line, and let's talk. You can also contact me through Facebook. Look for the Touring Jazz Musician. It's a group I've created and manage on jazz festivals that accept submissions directly from musicians. So if the subject interests you, join the discussion, the Touring Jazz Musician. Last but not least, I would like to invite you to check the Social Distancing Festival. Quarren Jazz is also part of it. And the link will be, guess what, also in the description of this episode. Till next week. And now, ladies and gents, The Road to Floyd. <laughs> Thank you.
Quarren Jazz Listen while you're home Quarren Jazz A podcast by Geisa Fernandes <música>